right, video number two. Um, what we're going to look at here is equilibrium constant in constants in terms of pressures. And if you've paid attention in the last few videos, you know that we have talked about Kc as an equilibrium constant in terms of concentration. Keq is your equilibrium constant. And Kp is your equilibrium constant in terms of pressures. So what I want to do is I want to take um, that reaction that we just looked at, the N2O4 gas in equilibrium with two moles of NO2 gas. And let's write an equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. So K sub P, when we write the expression, is equal to the pressure of nitrogen dioxide. We are going to square that because it has a coefficient of 2. We are going to divide that by the pressure of nit dinitrogen tetroxide, and that does not have a power because this has a coefficient of 1. Now let's imagine that we had this in a container and um, my calculator has died, so I'm going to make numbers that up that I can do easy math with. So let's say that this is at one atmosphere at equilibrium, and let's say that this is, um, let's make you think a little bit, four atmospheres at equilibrium. So what we'll do is we'll substitute into the expression, so I'm going to take four Again, we're not using units. That 4 will be squared because of the coefficient of 2. And then nitrogen, dinitrogen tetroxide, that's going to be 1. So 4 squared is 16 divided by 1 is 16. Our K sub P is larger than 1. So what that tells us is that equilibrium lies to the right. So this is product favored. Now what that means is that you have more of the NO2 or more pressure of the NO2 but yet the rates of the forward reaction and the reverse reaction are equal. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to take this K sub P that I solved for and I want to convert it to an equilibrium constant in terms of concentration. And there is an equation. It is on your equation sheet. Um, and Dr. Quick and I will have to show you this tomorrow because I don't have it in front of you, me. But the equation is K sub P equals KC times the quantity RT raised to the delta N. Okay, I want to erase some of this because I want to be able to talk about what the different variables in the equation are, but I want to keep um, that, where's my, let's just use pink. This was our K sub P that we calculated, so I want to remember that. This is our equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. This is our equilibrium constant in terms of concentration. This is our universal gas constant, that same one that we use all the time. Um, and for this, we're going to use 0.0821. And again, we do not... Um, the units for this would be liters, atmospheres, moles, kelvin. But remember, for our equilibrium constants, we don't have units, so we don't have to worry about that. Temperature is going to be T in kelvin. And then this delta N is change, that's the delta, in the number of moles of gas. So we're doing N um, final minus N initial. So if you think about that in terms of a balanced equation, final is going to be our products. 
initial is going to be our reactants. So what we actually do is we look for, and remember N is moles, and it is not moles of anything, it is moles of gas. So we want to remember that. So like if I'm looking at this equation, I'm going to focus on, let me do white, um, products first. So I have two moles of gas. And then I look at reactants, coefficient of 1. So 2 minus 1 is going to be 1. I can get a negative number for that. I want to pay attention. Um, but on this one, I happen to get a positive number. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute into this equation. Um, and I think, let me insert a page. But I want to change the background because I like the black better. OK. so. We're going to do K sub P equals KC times RT delta N. So I may have to go back. Um, sorry, I should have um, thought about this first. So if I go back to where we were before, um, I solved this in terms of pressures. I didn't have a temperature associated with this. So let's see what temperature do I want to do. Let's do body temperature. So 37 degrees Celsius. Oh, and I don't have a calculator. Um, we'll make it work. So what we're going to do is our K sub C is what we're solving for. We don't know what that is. Our KP was 16. That was what we previously solved for. Our R is 0 0.0821. We're going to multiply that by our temperature, which we decided was going to be 37. And so we want to add that to 273. Um, I should be able to do that in my head. What is that, 300? No, 310. I think that's right. Zero? Yeah times 310, and then we need our delta N, which we calculated was 1. So I am going to take these two numbers and multiply them by each other. So I am going to take my handy dandy calculator, and I'm going to do 0 0.0821 times 310. And that is going to give me 16 equals K sub C times 25.451. Raised it to the first power, so it's the same thing. I am not doing significant figures yet. I'm going to divide both sides by 25.451 to get KC by itself. So 16 divided by 25.451 gives me point uh, 6287. I need to think about significant figures. I ignore temperature. This is a constant, so it has many, many. This has two, so my answer needs to have two, so it's 0. 0.63. So my constant in terms of concentration is 0.6. Three. Why does that not look right? All right, we're going to keep going. One more example. This time we're given KP and we're asked to calculate KC. So if we write our equation, the equilibrium constant for pressures equals the equilibrium constant for concentrations times RT raised to the delta N. So K sub P is 1.9 times 10 to the third. That equals KC, which we are calculating, times R, which is 0 0.0821, times temperature, 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 is 298. Now, to calculate our change in the number of moles, Delta N is going to be final to minus our initial. And because we have two 
reactants, we have to add these together. So 1 and 2 is 3. So 2 minus 3 gives us a negative 1. So we're going to raise this to the negative 1 power. So what I will do is I am going to take 0 0.0821 times 298. And then I am going to um, raise that to the negative 1 power. I'm trying to do this on my cell phone, and I don't know how to do this on my cell phone. So, okay. So then what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to take the quantity that I got here, and I'm going to take 1.9 times 10 to the third and divide it by this. So my K sub C will end up being two significant figures, 4.6 times 10 to the fourth.